guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. I literally just walked into the door, sat down to film. I just finished my shopping and we're gonna go through all the things that I tried on, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. I really like doing these inside the dressing room videos when I go shopping instead of a haul because it's just more realistic. Like when I go shopping, not everything instantly fits and has that magical aha moment. There are a lot of no's along the way. So I like getting to show you guys what worked and what didn't. And it's fun getting to talk through all of the reasons that I liked pieces or didn't like them. It's a good time. If you're new to my channel, do make sure you are subscribed and you guys are gonna wanna stick around till the end of the video because this video is sponsored by Ebates and we partnered together to do a $100 giveaway. Ebates is the largest cashback site and they partner with over 2,500 big name brands like Macy's, Kohl's, American Eagle, and Madewell, Target, and Urban Outfitters. All three of the stores that I'm shopping at in this video are all partnered with Ebates. So if you like any of the items that I show and you wanna order them, make sure that you're signed up with Ebates so that you can get cash back on those purchases. Ebates brings you cash back, promo codes, and coupons all completely for free. You just click through the links found on Ebates and then shop on the store's website like you normally would and Ebates gives you cash back. I started using Ebates about three months ago and it's just seriously great. I'm hooked. And if you sign up using my link in the description, you'll get a $10 welcome bonus on your first purchase of 25 bucks or more. Now let's get into this inside the dressing room. So the first store I went to was Madewell and Madewell had a lot of cute stuff. I didn't end up getting to go there on Black Friday. So I was really excited to finally try on their holiday collection. Everything in the store was 20% off. And then if you spent over $200, your whole purchase was 30% off. I found a lot of cute clothes to try on and a ton of velvet. This was basically like velvet central. Seriously, like the first five items that I tried on are all velvet. So let's get into it. The first thing I tried on is this gray velvet blouse in a size 12 and I found this on the sale rack but I thought I just got lucky because it looked so cute on the hanger but once I tried it on I realized exactly why this was on the sale rack this is not a typical size 12 it was tight on my arms and I couldn't even get it close to going over my boobs it was a no next Take two for something velvet. I tried on this pink velvet blouse with a little bit of a V-neck. I tried this one in a large and the fit was just much, much better than the first one. This top had a lot of really cute and unique design elements. I love the split sleeves and the V-neck was the perfect length for me. Like it doesn't show too much cleavage. I thought the ruffle on the bottom was cute at first, but as I was posing, it started to flip out on one side, which was a little bit annoying. Overall, it was pretty cute, but just not perfect. And I pulled so so many other velvet blouse options, I decided to put this one in the no pile. Next, I tried another pink velvet top, but this one was kind of a wrap style, so I decided to size up and grab it in an extra large. Sometimes things that are wrap style tend to be a little bit too tight or just show a little bit too much cleavage, so I thought having some extra material to wrap around would be nice. And I like the idea of this top, but it just kind of fit me weird. I can't even like put my finger on what looks weird about it, but it just looked a little bit awkward on me. Maybe it was the length or the size. I don't really know, but it was, it was just a no. <laughs> So next was this blue velvet sweater and I absolutely loved the look of the sweater on the rack, but they only had it left in an extra small or an extra large and I'm usually a large. So I sized up, I grabbed the extra large and you could definitely tell that it was a little bit too big for me. Like I love the design of this because it kind of looks like a normal crew neck sweatshirt, but it has those more dressy elements with the velvet material and the unique sleeves. Like it's a really, really cute sweater, but you can tell that it was just a little bit too big for me. It was kind of swallowing me up and it, I just, I needed a smaller size. And they did have that same sweater in a smaller size, but in a different color. So then I tried it on in the brown in a large and the large fit me so much better. It still had that like loose, comfy, relaxed fit, but it didn't swallow up my body the way the extra large did. I just, I love that blue color so much though. So I decided to pass because even though it was super cute, I just didn't love it the way I loved the blue one. So I actually, thought about having them order it in a large because they said they'd be able to do that 
but I found something later in the video that kind of filled that void, but you'll see that later. Okay, the last velvet top, I promise. I tried on this green, velvety, more simple top than the other blouses. I tried this one on in a large and it ended up by far being my favorite and I definitely didn't expect that. Sometimes simpler is just better. The structure of this top was really flattering. It was loose, but not too boxy. I loved the length and it went up a little bit on the sides so it didn't cover up my hips. I could totally see myself like pairing this with with dark jeans and heels for a holiday party or even like a black pencil skirt I think would be cute. Plus I feel like dark green like this isn't usually a color I usually go for so it's really unique to the other items that I already have in my wardrobe. Totally gonna wear this on Christmas and probably Christmas Eve and probably to a Christmas party. I just, I really love this. It was a yes. The last top from Madewell, I tried on this thick corded turtleneck sweater in a large. I kind of expected this top to be too thick for me. I kind of went in expecting not to like it, but I was like, whatever, I'll just try it anyways. And it actually fit me really well. The length of the crop was perfect. It wasn't too short, but it still didn't cover up my hips. The turtleneck was loose and relaxed and the sweater just had like that perfect amount of slouchiness. And I loved the color. Maroon is like one of my favorite colors, but but with all that said, I still didn't end up getting it. And here's why. I live in Southern California where winter means maybe 60 degrees on a cold day. And this sweater was just too thick, too hot, too warm. I was already getting a little bit sweaty just trying it on in the dressing room. So I knew that even though I love the look of this sweater, I probably wouldn't get a lot of wear out of it. But if you live in a cold climate, 10 out of 10, recommend this sweater. It's great, just not great for San Diego weather. Now onto the bottoms. I tried on this plaid zip front mini skirt in a size 12 and oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. I love this. This totally fits me like a glove. The waist was only slightly too big, but that didn't bother me because it fit my hips and my butt perfectly. And a lot of the times I have to kind of like work to get a zipper over my hips and then it fits my waist comfortably, but this one actually had enough room for the hips. It is a little bit shorter than I usually go, but it didn't make me feel uncomfortable it was just kind of pushing that line a little bit. But if I ever did want to show a little bit less skin with this skirt, I could just pair it with black tights and it'd be super cute. Also, like how cute does it look paired with that green velvet top? I just love the look of all of this. So cute, so my style. In case you couldn't tell, this skirt was a yes. Next up were these red velvet flowy pants. I told you Madewell was all about the velvet. So I liked the look of these on the rack and I love the idea of like flowy Christmas pants, but these just fit me a little bit weird. The length was good, but they were too tight on my thighs and they just kind of clung to me all over and just fit me right in weird places and wrong in weird places. It, they just weren't for me. But I did get one little extra surprise as I was walking out of the store. I had already tried everything on. I saw that they had a rack with that velvet green shirt that I liked, but in different colors. And one of the colors they had was the blue that I liked so much in that first sweater that was too big. They only had mediums and extra larges out on the rack, but the sales associate went and checked the back and they ended up having a large in the back. So I got this shirt in two colors, the green and the blue. I'm really, really happy with the purchases I made at Madewell. I think all three of those items are really unique and things that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. And the next store I went to was Urban Outfitters. Urban had a few separate sales, like they had 30% off sweaters and I think there was like 20% off accessories, but they didn't have like a big overall discount like Madewell did. Normally I love the dresses at Urban Outfitters. Like that's my favorite thing to get at Urban. And I was really disappointed with the dress selection they had. Like pretty much every dress that I saw didn't fit my personal style. And a lot of them didn't look very flattering. Just not what I usually expect from Urban Outfitters. I was a little disappointed, but I did end up finding finding two things that I wanted to try on and one of those was a dress. So I thought this red sparkly dress would be really great for holiday parties and I tried it on in a large. Overall, I really like the idea of this dress and there wasn't anything like incredibly wrong with it. Like I think it looks pretty cute on me. And even though this dress wasn't fitted, like it kind of looks like a shapeless dress, it did have a little bit of structure to it where it came in in the waist just a little bit. The length was good, the color was gorgeous. I love mock necks, but there were a few weird things that kept me from buying it. First, it was just a really weird fit in the arms. It was like super, super tight on my biceps and then had a weird thing where it had a ton of extra fabric under my armpit. Also, it was really itchy and I don't like itchy things. So this one was a no. 
Second thing I tried on was a sweater. Of course, I had to grab a sweater since they were 30% off. It's this warm toned rainbow turtleneck sweater in a large. So even though this sweater was kind of that oversized comfy fit, the material was lighter and thinner than like a typical corded sweater. So it wouldn't be too warm or bulky for the California climate. And it has that length where I could pull it down and wear it with leggings and the sweater would totally cover my butt. And I could also wear it with jeans like this and just kind of like bunch it up to show off my hips a little bit still. So even though I really liked a lot of things about this sweater, it just wasn't quite perfect. And even with the 30% off, it still would have been 50 bucks. Also, I think the color was just a little bit too much for my taste, so I passed on this. Nothing from Urban Outfitters. Now on to Target. I have been loving Target style lately. Seriously, I feel like they have stepped up their clothing game in the past couple years. I've gotten so many cute items from Target recently. I saw this corduroy jacket on a mannequin and I thought it looked so cute. I was like, I want that jacket. But when I finally found it on a rack, they only had one left and it was a small, sad day. I did find four things that I liked though in my size. I tried on two jackets and two pairs of pants. Starting off with this brown leather jacket. I'm usually a size large, but they only have this left in an XL and I have really been wanting a brown leather jacket lately. So I decided to try it anyways. And you could definitely tell that it wasn't quite my size. I really didn't mind the body of the jacket being loose, but the arms were so long that it literally looked like I had no hands. And the shoulders also had way too much room where it, it made me look like I had like padded shoulders like in the 80s or something. I love brown leather jackets but this one was a no. I'm still on the lookout for one. So if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments. Next was this big red soft fluffy coat and I just love like how luxurious this looks. I feel like I could wear it with more dressy outfits too. And as soon as I put this on, it was an instant yes. Oh my gosh, I just love, I love this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty extra. It's kind of over the top, but like that's me. So it, it fits. It hits right at my hips and the jacket also has that cute little clasp at the top so I could wear it open or closed and it has pockets. We love things that have pockets. This jacket is definitely a little bit outside of my typical style, but I think it's really fun and really different, so it was a yes. I thought these green jogger style pants might be cute for more casual days, so I grabbed them in a large. And these were just too tight in some weird places. Like they weren't tight all over. They had that comfy elastic waist that fit great, but the thighs and the butt were just way too tight for me. And the fabric was also like kind of clingy. I think a size up totally would have worked because of that elastic waist. Like I think the waist still would have been a good fit a size up, but they didn't have a size up. They were all out. So this one was a no. And last but not least, these maroon velvety corduroy pants. I've seen pants like this a lot lately and I've really been wanting to try them and no better place than Target because if I love them, I don't have to worry about them being overpriced. They have a really flattering high waist and it's a little bit loose, but a belt would fix that really easily. I thought they were cute and flattering and I really liked the color and the texture, but they do that weird thing that some jeans do when they wrinkle a lot as you move your legs. I'm not sure why that happens, if it's because the jeans were a little too big or if it's just the material. I don't really know why that happens, but it really annoyed me. So I decided to pass on these. If anyone has a pair of like velvet corduroy pants like this that you love, let me know in the comments. I'm on the hunt for a good pair that's gonna fit my curvy body well and not do that weird wrinkle thing. So let me know if you have any recommendations. A big thank you to this video sponsor, Ebates. Like I said, I'm partnering together with Ebates to do a $100 giveaway. So just click that first link in the description to sign up for Ebates. And then the second link is to enter the giveaway. And just a big thank you to Ebates for sponsoring this video and helping put together this giveaway for you guys. I love any opportunity to give back to you guys. And it's super great that Ebates wanted to partner with me to help make that happen. So don't forget to sign up for Ebates by clicking that link in the description. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little peek inside the dressing room and I will see you very, very soon with another new video. Bye.